Hello everyone, welcome back to the latest video of SpaceX updates. In this video, I will only talk about today's static fire on Booster 7 and Starlink mission. Today was an incredible and huge day in the history of Starship development. We witnessed a new record set today. SpaceX just test-fired seven Raptor engines on Booster 7, the most number of Raptors fired up at one go either on a booster or any Starship prototype. The testing began with a seven-engine spin prime test and was later followed by a historic static fire of seven engines. Elon confirmed the number of engines on Twitter. This was the kind of static fire we all have been waiting for. Just few minutes after the testing, Elon Musk said chamber pressure on all seven engines looked good. That means it was a hugely successful static fire test without any notable problem. Today's testing was a giant step toward the first orbital test flight which I think is not going to happen until pretty late this year. The whole stage zero stood firm even though the orbital launch mount looked a little toasty. If only seven engines released that much power, imagine firing up all 33 engines. Mars looks very possible now. Next up, I think crews will be preparing for a 13-engine static fire test. From these kinds of testing, we learn something new every day. Today, we saw a new vent from the HPU for the first time. That is completely new to us and looked like they were testing the engine gimbals before lighting up the engines. SpaceX finally broke the trend of scrub timber. After failing on all its four previous attempts to launch the latest Starlink 434 mission, yesterday, SpaceX finally sent Falcon 9 booster B-1067 into space. The latest batch of 54 Starlink satellites was successfully placed into orbit. SpaceX chief Elon Musk says Starlink is now available on all the seven continents of the planet including Antarctica. That is it for now. Thank you for watching this short update. 